Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0, and today is day 42. So we have been working through campaigns over the past couple of days, and we're going to continue today by talking about social posts. So yesterday we talked about running social campaigns that were paid. Today we're going to show you kind of the, uh, the free version, if you will. So campaigns is your seventh icon down here, the megaphone on the left-hand side. So we're going to click on that and we're going to be taken into the campaigns submenu. You can see at the top we have our paid ads, emails, direct mail, and social posts. So social posts is what we're going to focus on today. So if you click on social posts, you're taken into the social post dashboard. So when you get in here, you can see, first of all, uh, you have the ability to see what's happening for your entire week here. You also have the ability to then see it vertically here on the bottom. And just so you know, this works from bottom to top. So it shows me today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so on. Um, obviously top is left to right. And I can scroll back and forth if I wanna see the weekly view. I can also click on week and then look at the monthly view and see right now I don't have any scheduled posts going out. And yet I could see all of those as well. If I wanted to, I could go backwards and see what posts I had scheduled. So you can see during December, I did have something going out every day on Facebook and Twitter. I was actually celebrating the holiday of the day. So a lot of different random sites will have kind of special holidays for each day of the year. And that's what I was doing just to kind of keep engagement up on my Facebook and Twitter. In addition, on the right hand side, you can see all channels are selected. I can click on this drop down box and see only Twitter if I wanted to or see only Facebook if I wanted to, or I could see both of them by checking both of those boxes. So just an easy way to kind of see what's happening on each one of your channels. Um, let's go back to the weekly view. And on the right-hand side here, you can see what's connected. So this is my Facebook profile. This is my Twitter profile. Uh, if you need to change that or adjust that, you can uh, through the manage button here in the top right or through settings in the settings menu as well. Probably just a quick and easy to set it up here or change it here if need be. So to create or schedule a new social post, I have the ability to come up here to the very top right and click on create a new campaign. And then you can see social posts is this third option. I click on social post and it brings me into kind of the creator or editor menu of social posts. So first thing says, what would you like to share? Now, because this is a Facebook post right now, I have up to 2,200 characters to type in that I want to share. My opinion is less is more. Remember, people are not reading very long posts unless there is some kind of catch or call to action. Um, and even then, typically, they're not going to read for very long. So get to the point and get there quickly. So that way, um, if someone does stop to actually read your post, you make the most of the 30 seconds to minute or whatever it is that they're actually going to give you. Uh, second, you have the ability to upload a photo or upload a video, and then you can actually add a link as well. And so you can drag and drop or browse files here. In addition, you want to make sure, uh, well, it's optional right now that your DBA logo gets in. You do want to have your DBA logo preferably on all of your assets. Now, if you're making them in designs, oftentimes designs is already going to have the DBA logo there. So you don't need to put it in twice, but definitely recommend that you have it in there at least once. Then down here at the bottom, it says, when would you like to post? So do I want to schedule that post? And if so, when do I want to schedule it for? You can see it even gives you hints that the best days to post are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. So I could decide that I want this to go out tomorrow at 10 a.m. That would be tomorrow morning. I could do Wednesday if I wanted, and maybe I say, oh, I want it to go out a little earlier. Maybe I do 9 a.m. So <clears throat> now this post, whatever it was that I was going to create, would post on January 8th at 9 o'clock a.m. You can see here down at the bottom, my Facebook page is selected. I do have the ability to do Twitter and Facebook at the same time. However, just realize that that's going to limit your character count to 280. Um, of course, if it was just Twitter, it's not going to change. It's still going to be only 280, but you don't have to do both Facebook and Twitter. You can do just Twitter alone. Uh, for some reason, it's not at least one channel. I am I'm not sure why it's not letting me deselect Facebook. 
So we're going to come over here on the right hand side and you can see the ability to preview the post and I can preview what it looks like as Facebook or I can preview what it looks like as Twitter as well. So you can kind of go back and forth depending what it is you actually upload and the text that you write there in the text box. Scrolling down a little bit further, that's pretty much it. You can kind of see what it looks like. Once you create that post and get it scheduled, you do have the ability to uh, schedule it immediately, schedule it for the future, or just save it as a draft. If you have a new listing that's going live and you want to create a social media campaign around it, you could set up several draft posts, maybe a day from now, three days from now, five days from now, seven days from now, um, even if you were still waiting on the photographer to email you the photos. You could always come back and then upload the photo as soon as you get them and then schedule it from there. We do have this button right here that's pretty nice. It's called Create Another. So as soon as I schedule this post, instead of going all the way back out into the campaigns menu, it's just gonna bring this page up once again. I can schedule a new post, create new content. It might be the same ad. It might be a little bit different. Um, otherwise, it would take us back to this home screen and I would have to go back to the Create a New Campaign social post type again. So create another just kind of makes it a little bit simpler and quicker to schedule multiple posts uh, for that week, that month, whatever is happening in your world. So once you do have those scheduled, let me just put this on here. So test post, I can upload a photo. Let's just find what's in pictures. I don't even know what's in pictures. Let's just do um, Google Drive, let me find. I'll pull up one of my listings and throw a photo of one of those up there. And let's just say that this is the one I wanted to go with. Once you pull up the image, you can see there it is, right? So if I wanted to, I could add additional ones. We recommend using one to four. I could also upload a video, as we said earlier, or add a link. Maybe I put the link to the actual landing page that uh, features that listing that I'm posting about. So those are all options. Again, once I get this scheduled, and I'll say, yes, I want to schedule it, it's then gonna show up on my calendar for the 8th. So actually it's gonna show up for the 6th, maybe I didn't change that. So January 6th at 10 a.m., there it is. It's gonna go out and you can scroll down and see here it is going out January 6th at 10 o'clock a.m. That's when it's scheduled for. It's gonna go out only on Facebook because that's what I selected. I do have the ability to come in, let me see, click on this. If I click on these three little dots, I can click on edit and say, yes, I want to edit it. And I actually want it to go out on Twitter as well. Forgot to check that. So let's do Twitter and Facebook. There we go. And maybe I decide, you know what? I don't want it to go out on Monday. I want it to go out on Wednesday and I want it to go out at 9 a.m. instead. I can come in and change that and then come back to schedule post. And as long as it's not already scheduled, right, or it hasn't already posted, you can come in and I've changed it for Wednesday, January 8th at 9 a.m. for Facebook and Twitter. So kind of cool way to go through and plan out your week, maybe time block 30 minutes every Monday morning and make a post or two or three on Facebook and the same on Twitter. Uh, maybe do something like I do where you just create kind of funny, entertaining content every day of the week and post that through. Um, you can do your own research and really kind of look into when the best times are, how often you should be posting. I think everyone has kind of their own opinion as to what that looks like, and you certainly can form your own after you do your research as well. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Social posts within the campaign submenu of KW Command. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to touch on emails very briefly. Um, I'll kind of show you a little bit about what happens in there to kind of give you a precursor of uh, what will hopefully be available very soon. And uh, then we'll move on from there. Guys, I hope you have a fantastic night. Looking forward to a great week. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.